Hey everyone, how's it going? Today's episode, we're going to go over how to view RAW and JPEG photos in Lightroom. And in order to do that, first you're going to need to make sure that you set your import preferences so that it recognizes the JPEG files as well as the RAW files when you import. Uh, we're going to examine that process in detail here. So the first thing that you need to do is you're going to have to go over to your edit menu here. Or if you're in a Mac system, you just go to Lightroom Classic and then you'll go to preferences. And you're going to get the preferences bar box that pops up. First, we're going to work in the general tab. What you're going to want to do is make sure that show import dialog is selected. You're going to want to make sure that we select the current previous import collection during the import. You're going to want to make sure we do check this box, ignore camera generated folder names when you're naming folders. And then you want to treat JPEG files next to raw files as separate photos. That way Lightroom recognizes these as two different individual items and it will bring them both in. And then you're going to go to the file handling tab and in the import DNG creation panel here, you're going to go file extension. And here you just choose whether you want your file extension to be capitals or lowercase letters. And then you're going to choose your JPEG uh, preview size, medium, none, full size. We're going to go full size. I like to embed all the original file. If you hover over that, you can see it creates a larger file, but it allows you to have the original raw file and embed the fast load data so that that will load faster. Then what you want to do is you want to make sure that you got this checked off here and you're going to be setting in the reading section here, you're going to set the select the options to recognize a period or a forward slash between keywords as a designating keyword hierarchy. And then you're going to do file name generation. We're going to treat these following characters as illegal. And then when we have an illegal file name character, we're going to replace that. We're going to choose to replace it with a dash. Uh, and the reason we do that is because SEO likes dashes better than it does underscores right now. Um, and then if a file name has a space, you can replace that space with a dash. And then we'll click OK on that. And then when we go to import our photos, we can go ahead and get both the raw file and the JPEG in there. That way you can view them separately as individual files later on in Lightroom. If you want to see a video that we did uh, covering rearranging photos in the grid view here, go ahead and click the little card up above here. And if you found some value here, please subscribe and turn on notifications below and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Thank you.